Hey guys, it's Aaron. So I had an idea for a skill builder. It's a little off the wall and it's a little bit of just for fun, but it really is a very cool technique that I really thought that I should share. Um, this will require one extension and that's a weld extension. There's a couple of them out there. I'll link to the one that I use from Smustard in the comments below, or no, maybe I use the one from TIG. I don't know. There's a couple of weld tools out there and all the weld tools do is take separate lines and make them into a single curve. That's a requirement for this workflow. But uh, other than that, all SketchUp tools to make some really cool shapes like the ones you see on the screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop right in. All right, so I can already hear the voices saying, I could just use follow me to make this thing. Yes, you could make a shape similar to this as follow me, but not these exact shapes. One of the cool things about these shapes is if I grab this right here and I scale about the middle, watch what happens to my shape. I can actually deform the bulge and change the entire shape of this, uh, I don't know, this vase type shape. The other thing is if I come in here and I'll go to view and show my hidden geometry, these are all made of spirals. See how this, the geometry spirals around like that? It's not a straight uh, follow me where everything goes around the circle. Actually, the geometry actually spirals around. So I wanted to show you guys how to do this. I think this is an older technique. This is an older uh, thing. I remember picking up from the forum, I think maybe uh, Box on our forum posted this but it really is cool and it's it's worth seeing and worth doing. So we're gonna hop over here to a, a blank slate. Keep going, get off the screen, there you go. All right, I'm gonna start simply with a circle. I'm gonna click and draw a circle. This circle has 24 sides. That's important to note because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some spirals. So I'm gonna look at it from the side. I'm gonna grab one of the points. It does have to be a point. I can't go through a midpoint or a long line, but from the end point, and I'm gonna draw a line vertically up the blue axes, and then back to the next point. So that's all I've done so far, just that, all right? Now, I'm gonna erase this piece. I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna use rotate to rotate that. So pre-select the line, hover over the edge, go to the center, and rotate it from one point, option to copy, and I'm gonna type 23X, enter. So I did just a radial array of those edges all the way around. Now what I wanna do is go into select and select all the edges I just created. I'm gonna use the move command along with option again to make a copy vertically, straight up. And again, I'm gonna hit 23X. All right, so what I just did was I just made 24 full spirals. So one of these goes all the way around as it goes up the side and ends up at the top. Um, one of the things I wanna do now is I wanna actually take one of these curves and weld it. I'm gonna do this by first, so, so I have an issue right here. So one thing I could do is I could hold on my shift key, follow this and click on all 24 sides. Not undoable, it's actually not painful to do, but uh, we're here for skills, right? Not, uh, not grunting through selection. So I wanna find a way to quickly and easily, if I just double click on one of these, nothing. Triple click gets the whole thing. So I don't have an easy way to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into this circle at the bottom, I'm gonna double click on the circle. That's gonna highlight both the surface and the line around it. Temporarily, I'm just gonna right click and say make group. That's gonna isolate that geometry from one of these spirals. So if I triple click on one spiral now, you can see what highlights is just that single spiral. Now, I can take that spiral and I can run my weld extension. Again, whatever weld you have, go ahead and run it there at that point. What that will do is give me one continuous curve there. All right, so at this point, I wanna get rid of all the other lines. So I'm gonna select everything except my one curve and delete them. Now I can take this curve and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna use rotate to move from one 
option to the next point, 23x, enter. All right, so now each of these is a full curve. Now what I can do, and this is actually, this is interesting because I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm just gonna grab it, option, and I'm gonna copy it over here. Because there's a couple of things I can do at this point. I'm going to explode this, and I'm going to push pull it up to one of these top points. At that point, I've really created everything I need. Because right now, so these are still, you can see I pick one of these, they're still complete curves. See how it goes all the way around. If I grab this top circle and hit scale, grab one of these corner points, I hit the modifier key so I scale about the middle, and now I can actually create those distortions just by scaling that top circle. I was saying before, it's something else I could show here is I could take this circle, modifier key to copy straight up, and then I'll actually explode both of these. Because what I can do right now is grab this circle and see I got kind of a wire cage right now. Same thing still applies though, because if I scale about the middle here, my wires go and rescale. So this is this right here is what you cannot get from follow me. Follow me can give you something similar to this. So if I was to take this shape right here, soften and smooth, soften that thing completely. I could actually get something like that out of follow me. This however, is something that follow me can't do. And this is cool because I could use something like pipes along path or something like that to actually create some intricate pipe work. Or I could even do something like take this whole thing and copy it so it crosses over itself and end up with a full real wire mesh. So that is a pretty cool thing that you can do with SketchUp. Like I said, I'm not sure that you have any workflows that are dying for this kind of thing, but it is possible that you'll see something in the future where you want to create shapes like this. And like I said, Follow Me just doesn't quite do the same thing. Full credit to Box for creating this. Uh, it was a little while ago that he posted this, like years ago. So I'm 90% sure it was Box and, and he has some awesome gifts. He's worth checking out on our forum or on his Facebook page too. If you like this, go ahead and click on like and subscribe too. We create a couple videos a week usually, and you'll be notified every time one of them comes out if you're subscribed. Most importantly though, please do leave a comment. More and more of the videos we create are because of the comments we're hearing from you guys, and we love that. I mean, I do like making videos like this, but I like them a lot more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.